Hello, first graders. It's Mrs. Davis here with your Patterns of Power grammar lesson for today, Thursday, February 25th. Remember, our goal this week has been I use end marks to help the reader. So remember, writers, we know that to have a complete sentence, we have to put an end mark. Different end marks are used for different sentences. We talked about our period for telling, boop, our exclamation mark for yelling, and our question mark for asking. Let's practice applying together which punctuation mark matches the feeling of the sentence. Ready? The boys made a snowman together. Hmm. Am I asking or telling? The boys made a snowman together. Hmm. Show me with your hand signals. Asking or telling? Very good. This one is boop, telling. The boys made a snowman together. It's a telling sentence, so it gets a period at the end. Ooh, which punctuation mark matches the feeling of the sentences? Two sentences here. We, we flew down the hill on our sled. We, we flew down the hill on our sled. Hmm, which punctuation mark should we use? Our exclamation with lots of feeling or question mark for asking. Show me with your hand signal. Very good, we get exclamation marks. We, we flew down the hill on our sled. Lots of excitement about going down the hill. All right, friends, which punctuation mark matches the feeling of the sentence? Who has a purple hat? Hmm, exclamation or asking, who has a purple hat? That's right, this one is asking, who has a purple hat? We're asking, who has a purple hat? We use a question mark. All right, friends, now it's your turn. I would like for you to write a sentence about the picture and put the end mark that matches the feeling of your sentence. Remember, you could write a telling sentence, an asking sentence, or an exclamation sentence. You need time to pause the video here to write your sentence. You may do so. Ms. Davis will share some sentences I thought of to go with our picture. This cute little dog. Ooh, here's one. I said, is this your pet dog? Ooh, that one I'm asking. Is this your pet dog? Since I'm asking, I used a question mark at the end. Ooh, how about a different sentence? That dog is so cute. That dog is so cute. That one got some strong feelings. It gets an exclamation mark. One more. She will take her dog for a walk. That is a telling sentence. So I used a period at the end. She will take her dog for a walk. All right, writers, great job today. Remember today and every day, make sure you are using end marks at the end of your sentences. Remember our goal this week has been, I uh, use end marks to help the reader. All right, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.